Gymnastics is one of the most stunning sports to watch, but the hardest to execute. So it's not a surprise that it takes a toll on the gymnast bodies who go out of their way to attempt the most bizarre, physics-defying, biology-defying, heck, even logic-defying moves. And some of these moves cost athletes a lot more than just their careers. In today's video, we dive into the most jaw-dropping and electrifying moves attempted by gymnasts. That'll make even the most badass superheroes weak at the knee. First up, we have the Mayachi High Bar. This move is unreal, and many people felt that no one would ever be able to do it. But these two gymnasts were confident that they could, so they competed and worked hard to see who'd pull it off first. Heidika Mayachi and Andreas Brettschneider both attempted this never-done-before super hard skill. At first, it appeared that Andreas would take the prize, but he got injured in the process. And then Mayachi followed, successfully executing it, which is why this double-twisting layout is named after him. It's the most tricky and risky skill in men's gymnastics. In fact, it's the only one that's in the I value at all. So it must be an incredibly hard one to pull, even for those super skilled gymnasts who've dedicated their lives to the sport. Next, the Chang. First done by Chang Fei of China in 2005 at the World Championships in Australia, the Chang is another incredibly complicated move. It involves a round-off entry onto the springboard followed by a half-twist onto the table in a front salto layout with one and a half twists before landing. Due to its difficulty, this vault is rarely attempted in women's gymnastics. The Chang requires gymnasts to complete a round off onto the springboard, giving them a blind entry onto the vaulting table. In other words, when the gymnast hits the springboard, they're carrying the whole speed of their run as well as the power of the round off backward. Towards a vault table, they can't see. The front salto with one and a half twist off the table must then be completed by continuing upward momentum from their blind, twisting entry. It's far more challenging than simply generating a straight line of power from the springboard to the vault and then up in the air to do more common vaulting skills. This is why it isn't done often, but besides Chang Fei, Simone Biles has also perfected the move, but with a twist. Next up on the list, we have the Biles on Vault, which takes the Chang a step further, making it another super tricky and dangerous move that's been reduced in score due to safety concerns. The move involves a round-off entry onto the springboard with a half twist onto the table and a front salto layout with two twists. The Biles takes the extreme difficulty of the Chang and adds a half twist. This not only raises the difficulty of the movement by having the gymnast to complete another half turn, but it also drastically increases the difficulty because the gymnast lands blind. As a result, the Biles vault is tied for the second most difficult vault to perform. Next, the Biles Biles beam dismount. Then there's the Biles beam dismount routine, which consists of a double back salto tucked with two full twists. This dismount uses the full in beam dismount and adds another full twist to make it even more risky. One of the most challenging parts of this skill, similar to the full in dismount, is generating the speed and power to finish the movement with control. Adding an extra twist to the full in arguably creates the Biles or double double, the most complicated dismount mount to complete on beam. It's no wonder then that Simone Biles, the GOAT, is the only female gymnast to have ever landed this successfully. And now the Dracoska kowalska beam dismount. This move's impossible to watch without cringing, and we bet it's even scarier to actually do it. We seriously can't watch Katarzyna Dracoska kowalska doing it without holding our breath. She did this super amazing skill in the 2018 World Championship in Qatar. So what makes it so scary because things can go horribly wrong in a matter of seconds. Normally during a dismount, a gymnast would launch off the beam going forward during the last stop, but with this one, you go in the opposite direction. Here, the gymnast goes into the air and then does a backflip while traveling off of the beam, and to make it worse, they throw in two full twists into the mix. It appears that they'll land on their back right on the beam, and if things go wrong, that's exactly what will happen. It can be disastrous and even fatal for the gymnast attempting it. We always think that these athletes are incredibly well-trained and skilled and what could possibly go wrong? A lot can actually go wrong. Most of these moves look magical to witness, but many of them are inherently risky to the extent that they've not only affected lives and careers, but also ended many. Next, the Yarchenko double pike, such as the infamous Yarchenko double pike. This one's so hard that it 
previously was only done by five male gymnasts. The Yurchenko double pike is a springboard round off with a back handspring onto the table, followed by a piked double salto off the vault. Much like the Biles two on the floor, the triple double, this vault is a super challenging technique. Simone Biles recently became the first female to land the Yurchenko double pike vault successfully. The last time a female attempted it, she ended up with a broken neck, paralyzed, and eventually passed from her injuries. During the warm-ups in the World Sports Fair in Japan, Julissa Gomez raced towards the vault but slipped off the springboard, hitting the vault headfirst at incredible speed, breaking her neck and sending her into a coma. These injuries eventually killed her. This vault is tough for a number of reasons. To begin with, the gymnast must generate enough power to hit the vault and spring high enough to perform two piked saltos. Harnessing that power in a piked position goes against what the human body naturally wants to do while flipping backward. When performing any type of back salto, the body naturally wants to open up into a more flat position. This means that maintaining the straight-legged pike position requires extra strength and technique, which is incredibly hard. Plus, completing two piked backflips creates a lot of spinning force, which the gymnasts must absorb and control as their feet land on the mat. Up next, Corbett flip. There are rare occasions in Olympic history or even sporting history when someone does something that's never been done before and in some situations will never be done again. Olga Corbett, a young Russian gymnast, was about to make history and stir up controversy with a single move when she approached the balancing beam in 1972 Summer Olympics. A daring backflip off the top beam, which has since been dubbed the Corbett flip. Despite the fact that it's one of the most difficult and dangerous tricks in gymnastics, the grace and simplicity with which Corbett performed it stunned everyone. The dead loop somersault, however, has been banned because of the enormous level of risk required to pull it off cleanly. Olga did the dead loop, which is performed by standing on a high bar and then doing a backflip before grabbing the bar again. It was the first and only time the trick was documented on a global scale, and it has since been banned. And now, the protonova. This one's among the most extreme moves a gymnast can attempt in a sport already full of extremely dangerous stunts. If the athlete rotates too far forward, they can break their legs. If they don't rotate far enough, they can break the neck. It's one wrong move and you're dead on the spot. If you remember that final destination gymnast death scene as a result of a freak accident, you'd know what we're talking about. This could end up looking something like that, only this time it'd be real. The landing is this move's trickiest part. The movement is so fast that it appears to be a blur. You can't afford to even be an inch off when landing so close to the ground. Out of the handful of athletes who've tried the protonova, two have landed on the ground in hard to see crumbles. Those two athletes were thankfully unharmed, but gymnastics is a dangerous injury prone sport and not everyone is so lucky. Up next, Thomas Salto. One of the most unfortunate gymnast was Elena Makina, who collapsed during a tumbling pass two weeks before the Olympics in 1980. Her entire body was paralyzed from the neck down. This insane move consists of one and a half salto backward in a tucked or piked position with one and a half twist or one and a half salto backward in a layout position with one and a half twist. Makina was practicing the pass with this very Thomas Salto when she under rotated the salto and crash landed on her chin snapping her spine and rendering her quadriplegic for life, cutting an otherwise promising career short. 